it's time to quit. You clicked on this video for a reason. You wanna give up smoking, vaping, doing Zins, or whatever nicotine product that you use, and you want to finally stop. I'm gonna give you three things that you can do to finally quit smoking and to get over the hump, which is nicotine withdrawals. Guys, I know how bad and how terrible withdrawing from nicotine can be and how bad it can feel. I've gone through it multiple times myself, and these three things are the best things that you can do, the best remedies you can have to just finally get through it and end your smoking, vaping, zen addiction for good. I'll let you know what they are, but before we get into that, just a quick backstory on me. I've been free from smoking and nicotine for about two months now. I'm one of those people that was never really big into smoking, guys, I gotta be honest. I never really got into the whole vaping jewel phase, but my first love was actually cigarettes. So when I was young, like probably just early teens, I would smoke cigs, and I think I just kinda built like a love affair. So I've always been on and off, just like smoking cigs, on, off, whatever. But this last time around, not only did I get into cigarettes, I got into vaping as well too. And I just noticed how bad it made me feel. I was getting self-conscious because my teeth were getting more yellow and I'm really big on having like a really white, like a bright smile. And not only that, but I noticed myself getting more irritable at my old job I used to work at, I was a bartender. I'd be just more snappier with people, my coworkers, and I was turning into a person that I didn't recognize anymore. Again, thankfully, I'm grateful to be two months free, but the withdrawals that I faced for the first week, but honestly, the first couple weeks, like the first two weeks, were gnarly. So tip number one I'm gonna give you to deal with nicotine withdrawals is just embrace it. You have to fully feel it. So many times we try to run away from things, but you have to feel how crazy and how bad the nicotine made you feel. I'm really big on accountability and you're the one that got yourself into the situation. You're the one that started smoking or vaping, so you have to embrace and feel what this has done to like your body and your mind state. Tip number two, get rid of it. If you have any nicotine in your apartment, your house, your place of residence, so whether these are cigarettes, vapes, Zen pouches, I want you to go through right now and throw all of them away. I know this may not feel like the biggest thing right now because you feel like you have self-control, but you have to understand that you don't. When I was trying to quit cigarettes, I still kept them in my apartment. I also had vapes and I even had one of those non-nicotine vapes, but all of them kept bringing me back to the habit of nicotine. It's hard to get free from your oppressor when your oppressor is still in your vicinity. In this case, having these things around, whether it's your vapes, cigarettes, there's still a big temptation for you. So it's best just if you throw everything thing away. I did this and it helped me tremendously. Tip number three, and you guys might not want to hear this, is that you have to avoid people or co-workers that still smoke. So if you're trying to get free from this addiction, you're trying to get through these withdrawals, you can't go around these places where people still smoke. You can't hang around people if they still smoke or they still vape because the temptation is gonna be too great. It's gonna be too vast for you. Maybe eventually you can be back around these people, but again, especially in the beginning, those first couple weeks especially, you wanna make it easy for yourself. You don't wanna be going back into the lines then being tempted. It's so easy just to hit somebody's vape or sometimes like for me, I'd be out having dinner, having a steak and I might have a drink with it. Uh, subsequently, I don't drink anymore either, but a lot of times when I drink, I want to smoke so you could be having a drink out with some friends if you still drink and then you might want a cigarette because a lot of people do have that like you know the smoking and drinking they're like a beautiful combo together so stay away from these situations that set you up for failure I'd be really interested in hearing in the comment section below why are you guys quitting smoking like what's the reason of you giving it up because I wondered about this for a while I thought maybe I could just keep smoking for the rest of my life because it did give me a pleasure increased dopamine but ultimately I felt like I had to give it up for health reasons just because I want to age well I want my skin to look nice, I want my eyes to be bright, I don't want my teeth to be yellow. So comment what that is for you below. I'm gonna be making a follow-up video on this, so make sure you hit the subscribe button if you like today's video and turn on the notification bell just so you don't miss when that video comes out. And if you wanna help me out, give the video a thumbs up because it does actually help it a lot in the algorithm. Again, giving up nicotine can be hard, but I know that you're strong and I'm with you along this journey. If you're like me and not only wanna give up nicotine and smoking, check out this video for how to give up alcohol because those two have always been my biggest devils that I know that I personally have needed to leave behind. I love you guys and I'll see you very soon.